the part where I drip the water and just see it goes, that's so meditating. If I work really, really hard and I need to calm down a bit or whatever, then I paint and do the pattern on the surface. I knew that enamel comes in a powder form. I knew that you can add water to it and that creates certain patterns with other materials you can't really do. I think at first working in a busy environment startled me because you don't really know how to focus doing your own work where so much things are going around you. You get adjusted. It kind of forces you to go into that way of thinking and it pushes you to be productive on your own. I was born in Israel and I lived in Israel most of my life, but I currently live in London and my background is in product design. I was working behind the computer designing and doing 3D modeling and then I decided that I want to go back into a little bit of the making and kind of focus on materials. The shapes that I choose are very minimal, very basic. I choose shapes that will accentuate that, but then won't take away too much out of the real story, which is the material itself. I typically go and ask Steve's help. He already knows how long it should be in the kill. To come here was a great opportunity to work with metal and metal casting, iron in specifically. I didn't have any experience with cast iron. I got the true sense of what it is working here, the scale, and to have it all in one complex. Come on, I'm like a kid in a candy shop. This whole place is so inspirational for me. I, there's so many projects and ideas, and I would definitely would like to come back if I had the opportunity.